Hello there guys, this is me, Brass Wisdom, and I figure I would lay into you today my, sort of my deconversion story, how I became a more agnostic than anything else deist. I simply say I hold a 50.1% probability on God existing. Um, I do consider myself a spiritual person, and I will go into separate videos on, on that topic. Um... For today, however, I'm going to be going into why I became a deist. Alright, I took this from the deism.com website from which I wrote an article for, and here it goes. Why deism? From being a non-denominational Christian to a Methodist to a deist. I was born in a rather liberal Christian household. I've been told by family members that when I was a baby, and for the first couple years of my life, we went to church a lot, but I have no memory of that. I will say my earliest memory was walking outside of a church with my sister, but the point is, I wasn't real religious. My mom was a single mother, and outside of a Jesus loves you and God is looking out for you, every now and then, Christianity wasn't a big deal. In my life experience, the Christian God was like an axiom. He had to be true in order for everything to work. I always just assumed people who didn't believe knew the truth but were mad at God. I now know that is not true. I had noticed that most of my family members and friends belonged to specific churches and called themselves by sects they were in. Baptist, Catholic, Lutheran, etc. But my mom and I didn't call each other anything but Christians. That bothered me, and I eventually looked up all the denominations of Christianity and settled on Methodist. It was a waste of effort looking into it, now that I look back at it. I never ended up going into a Methodist church, not even once. What shook me and eventually made me leave my religious beliefs in the Christian God was a matter of philosophy, study of the brain and mind, watching atheist videos, and studying of various other religions, and even the death of my mother. The problem of evil was something I read up on, and while I didn't find it convincing enough, I still don't, it at least put the thought in my mind that what I had been told could not possibly be, might not possibly be true. I began seeing atheist comments on Christian videos I looked up, and I decided to investigate them. I ended up watching multiple big atheist YouTube channels, subscribe to some channels and began to think maybe they have a point. I eventually looked into more religions and realized how cultural it is and it made me think what if I'm wrong or why would God punish these people for not knowing him to be true? My mom had died of cancer just a couple of months before I got into my exploration of beliefs. Once I l learned what atheists tend to believe about the afterlife and what neuroscientists says about death in the mind, I broke down in tears, realizing my mom was really gone. I developed death anxiety, which is something I still work on overcoming. Now, I got into deism after looking into the history of the American Founding Fathers and getting into some more philosophy. I realized it wasn't just Christianity or atheism. And instead, there was other possibilities. I asked my grandparents to get me Age of Reason by Thomas Paine, and I became overjoyed through his writings, his quotes, and his intellect. I got the Jefferson Bible too, and the same thing occurred. I lastly read more about science, and I realized how much of a miracle it is that the universe came about this way. I knew deism was a belief I wanted to be associated with. Now I no longer cling to the Christian God, but the God of reason and logic instead. While I don't know this God's purpose, attributes, and rules, I do know that this being gave me this life to enjoy it and to seek to learn about all the, the laws that he set up. 